Japan's National Stadium coming here for a tour today outside of the stadium is humongous does look really nice though shame not many people came here for the Olympics some nice buildings in the distance I think that building there must have been another Olympic venue So here we have the Olympic rings in front of the stadium and then you've also got the Japan National Olympics Museum which looks quite cool. You've got a few of the Olympic cauldron flames, I think that gold one is for 1974, uh, not sure about the black one, I think that's 1984 or something. You got a really colourful one here. Stadium here is probably one of the nicest ones I've seen in a while to be fair. This one is for the Winter Games in Nagano 1998. Looks really nice. You've got winners of the Olympic Games here. Table tennis, taekwondo. Then you've got this all around the stadium as well. So this is the sign wall. I think this is where athletes, well, sign wall. 2021 USA 400 meters. Italia champion Olympic. Thank you, see you later. Someone put their Instagram there. Lucas underscore and who. <laughs> Arigato. Thank you, Japan. Emily Diamond. So that's the podium which I just went on. You've got nice graffiti here as well. National Stadium. Here we've got the Tokyo torch. We've got a bronze and gold one here. Looks quite nice. Got quite a few World Cup balls. Japan, Brazil, in Dortmund. You've got the FIFA 22 World Cup ball. Russia. What's this way? Nothing much there. Got a few World Cup t shirts. This is the blue samurai kit they use at the recent World Cup in Qatar. So this is the 2002 World Cup shirt in Korea, Japan. So they reached what, the quarterfinals. Very good tournament from them. France 98. Shirts look massive here. And this one here is my favorite. This is just the dressing room in general, nice and spacious. And this is the stadium in all its glory. And it looks amazing. Wow. This is stunning. As close as you can get to the pitch. This is 
the relay track outside. If anyone wants to do a 100 meter race against me, you probably beat me. Even if it was a five year old child, let's be honest. Let's walk up. It is such a beautiful stadium. So if you wanted to, you can put your track there as if you're about to run. I want to say this is the long jump, which is crazy to think that some people jump as far as here. I would probably get to the first blue section. Seats are all colourful as well. The pitch there getting lit up. So we are right at the back of the first section as you can see here. I've said it so many times, such a lovely stadium. The view would be quite difficult though if it was a football game, obviously because of the running track. But even then, it's just so nice to look at. So we've got manager chairs here. It's quite comfortable to be fair. So we're on the fourth floor, which is the observation deck. Well, this, this is not the view, but I'm just showing you it. It's quite nice, quite nice. You see skylines. And then over there's the observation deck, which we're going to go to in a second. Now we're making our way to the observation deck. Wow, it is a stunning view. Even though it's high up, put the LED de uh, video board here, massive. Yeah, even though it's high up, it's still such a nice view. And that is it for the tour. Liked it more than I thought I would do. All in all, uh, an amazing stadium. A shame that not many people got to visit it during the Olympics, but yeah, infrastructure looks nice, the actual pitch, inside the seating, everything looks really top notch. Hopefully you enjoyed this mini tour of the stadium and until next time, bye.